This is going to be a fairly simple, straightforward how-to instructions on installing Cisco AnyConnect VPN application. If you are going to school in a university in Canada or United States, or you are going to join a company, they may have asked you to install this software on your own device in order to connect to their VPN network. The first thing you need to do with Cisco AnyConnect is to find that software. There's a couple of ways to get that. The easiest way is to go through your company or organization or school and download it through them. If you don't have that luxury, what you can do, you can go to Google and type Cisco AnyConnect and then type software and then it will get you to a Cisco website where you would be able to select from the options here and download it to your device. If you're gonna get it through Cisco, you have to have a Cisco account in order for you to download it. Otherwise you won't be able to download the Cisco AnyConnect Secure uh, application. So once you have the software, either you obtain through the Cisco website itself directly or through your school or organization, uh, you can go ahead and start installing it on your device. You don't need to configure any IPs or anything like that. At this point, you just need to get it installed. So I have downloaded two versions of it and I'm gonna install the latest version. Now, on your device, if you are not logged in as the administrator for the device, in my case, I am, you need to right click and start, uh, go for the uh, you know, uh, go for the show more options if it's uh, if you are in with Windows 11 and go with run as administrator. In this situation, I don't have that option because I am logged in as the admin for this account, this device. So I'll be just launching the Cisco AnyConnect and I'll open up the Cisco AnyConnect mobility client setup. And in here, we'll click next, accept agreement. If you agree with this agreement here, right here, and you're gonna click next and you're gonna say install. So it's gonna take a few seconds and a few minutes to install it. I mean, it shouldn't take that long. And once it's done, you have Cisco and you can install and you can click finish. If you go to your start menu, now you'll see that the Cisco and you mobility is, on, uh, is installed. And on the corner here, currently it's not showing up anything here because the reason that is you need to launch it first for it to show up on the corner. So now it's showing up on the corner. So if I remove it, it's there right now. So that's how you get the Cisco AnyConnect installed onto your device. Now, depending on your school and depending on how you are connecting to your school VPN, there may be already populated information here. But if you don't have anything showing up on this list, you may have to go into settings, which is right here. It says advanced window and you may have to configure how this Cisco AnyConnect uh, need to be uh, you know, configured. So there may have some information here you can change that require you to do some, uh, you know, uh, some things with this. Like for example, start, uh, for, uh, sorry, this one, allow LAN access using uh, VPN if configured. Disable captive uh, portal, uh, detection, etc., etc. All of these things will be determined based on your organizational IT policies or your school's IT policies. So this is, like I said, this is a fairly simple, easy explanation on how to install Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client when you had to do it yourself because your school or your company is advising you to download it and install it. Uh, on your device. Again, if you don't see anything here, once you are connected to your network that you need to, uh, you know, connect, uh, you need to contact your system administrator or IT department to figure out how you can do that. So that's everything for today. If you have any questions or concerns about Cisco, any connect like basic troubleshooting or anything like that, I'm very familiar with this particular program. I work with this every day and I have extensive knowledge on how to troubleshoot Cisco AnyConnect technical issues, please reach out to me. And until next time, thank you so much and have a nice day.